articles. Hello everyone, today we will talk about the meaning, types and the use of articles. Also, we will mention some examples where no article is needed and learn phrases with or without articles. So, let's start. What is an article? An article is a word used to modify a noun, which is a person, place, object or idea. Technically, the article is an adjective, which is any word that modifies a noun. Usually, adjectives modify nouns through descriptions, but articles are used instead to point out or refer to nouns. There are two different types of articles, indefinite and definite article. Indefinite articles are the words a and an. Definite article is the word the. The correct use of articles is quite difficult. There are rules, but there are many exceptions to those rules. Fortunately, making a mistake when using articles doesn't usually stop us communicating. Let's begin with the indefinite article. We use the indefinite article when we mention something for the first time. For example, there was a pub next to my school. The pub was very old and traditional. Also, we use articles a or an when it doesn't matter which particular person or thing we are talking about, when we mention the person or thing as an example of a group. For example, we need a new computer. The old one doesn't work anymore. The definite article is used when the person we are talking to knows precisely which person or thing we are talking about and can easily identify the person or thing. For example, did you know that the bakery is closing down? We use article the with things which are unique. For example, the moon helped us find our way home in the dark. Definite article is used with the names of rivers, seas and oceans, mountain ranges and groups of islands. It is also used with names of countries if they are plural or contain a common noun. We use the with an adjective to talk about groups of people who are characterized by one feature, the poor, the rich, the unemployed, etc. For example, the unemployed are always at a disadvantage. As you can see from the example, the verb is always plural. The definite article is used with a singular noun to talk about the whole category or concept or a type. Compare the following sentences. We really have to wash the car today. I think the car is the most practical invention of the 20th century. In the first sentence, we are talking about one specific car, while in the second example, we are talking about the car as a concept. Cars in general. Now, let's look at some examples where no article is needed. We don't use article before plural and uncountable nouns when we refer to things in general. For example, I think mobile phones have as many advantages as disadvantages. We use no article before the names of continents, towns, lakes, single mountains and islands, countries, airports, stations and streets. But there are some exceptions to this rule. For example, The Hague. There are a lot of phrases with and without articles which don't follow any rules, as the following examples show. Phrases with a definite article. At the office, on the radio, in the end, break the ice, by the way, etc. Phrases with the indefinite article, in a day, in a way, give somebody a helping hand, come to a head, etc. And phrases without article, for example, at school, day by day, in hospital, on TV, face to face, on holiday, from left to right, and many other. Now, let's do the grammar trainer and revise the use of articles. 
Read the following sentences carefully and choose the correct options, A or B. 1. You don't use articles when you are A. Referring to a particular thing or B. Talking about things in general. The correct option is B. We don't use articles when we are talking about things in general. 2. With continents, countries or cities, you generally A. Don't use article the or B. You use definite article the. The correct answer is A. We don't usually use articles with continents, countries or cities. But, as we have seen from the previous examples, there are some exceptions. So, the definite article is used with the names of countries if they are plural or contain a common noun. For example, the United Kingdom. Sentence number three. You use a or an to talk about something, a, for the first time, when it's one of many, or b, when you already know what we are talking about. The correct option is A. The indefinite article is used when we talk about something for the first time. Number four. You use articles a or an with jobs or with uncountable nouns. We use these articles with jobs, so A is the correct option. Sentence number five. You use definite article the when you are talking about a. Things in general or b. A particular thing. b is the correct answer. We use it when we talk about a particular thing. Sentence number six. Which of the following sentences mentions the word noise for the first time? a. I heard a noise. or b. The noise came from upstairs. In sentence, I heard a noise. The word noise is mentioned for the first time, so the correct answer is A. 7. In the sentence, I don't like vegetables. A. You are talking about vegetables in general. Or B. You are talking about one vegetable dish in particular. When I say I don't like vegetables, I'm talking about vegetables in general, so A is the correct answer. And the last question for today. In the sentence, the chicken was excellent, but the vegetables were awful. You are talking about A. Vegetables in general or B. One vegetable dish in particular. In this case, we are talking about one vegetable dish in particular. And B is the correct option. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Thank you.